so I'm presenting today, so I will do my best. Uh, and we have also two uh, co-authors, Mathieu Templier, who is here, who is an um, associate professor at Laval University, and Bogdan Negoita, who is assistant professor at HSC Montreal. We all know what is open source software, so I won't uh, spend a lot of time on that, but we know that their uh, importance is uh, getting uh, bigger and bigger, and more and more companies are using it. Uh, we also have companies that are involved in uh, open source communities, open source projects and ecosystem. Um, and uh, we also have many contributors now who are paid by companies to uh, join communities, projects, and uh, some com companies also create their own community and uh, try to attract people. Um, and uh, there is a challenge uh, between the fun fun foundational values of um, communities of uh, open source software developers that are um, that were traditionally um, volunteers and the interest of the companies that are uh, now mm -hmm. joining. Uh, so it's uh, Fitzgerald in 2006 uh, in MIS Quarterly who said, uh, be aware there will be struggles in, uh, in the future between those two, uh, two groups. Um, there is a paper uh, where uh, we found a very interesting um, categorization of types of involvement uh, of uh, corporations in open source software community. So it goes from companies uh, borrowing ideas or uh, best practices from open source software communities and processes to companies becoming members of open source communities and really being involved even in the roadmap, uh, the evolution and co-managing the community. So we have like six degrees uh, of involvement. So we started with that in, in mind and we did a, a literature review on business involvement in open source software and recently uh, the colleague of uh, Sean, uh, Matt german Praise published uh, about how um, uh, the uh, involvement of uh, companies impact the software development process. Uh, but there is a lot of research on how to create this collaboration, how to initiate the collaboration. So most of the research is about the initial phase of the involvement. Uh, we also uh, found that there is a lot of focus on specific projects. So we would like to have uh, an ecosystem view of involvement instead of project-centric. Uh, and also, uh, it's mainly from the company's point of view. So how, what can the company do to succeed in the project? Uh, what can the company do to get the rewards that they want? Um, and not much uh, from the community side. So the first one who were there created the community. So what are their, um, what do they lose or what do they win in this relationship uh, with the company? So I just told you that we are more interested in uh, ecosystem, open source software ecosystem, than projects, uh, because they are more and more um, uh, important in the, uh, the open source software landscape. Um, as um, as uh, Isus uh, was uh, telling, telling us, there are many dependencies between projects, so we cannot think about being involved in a project uh, without seeing all these ramifications. Uh, everything is really uh, interrelated technically, but also socially more and more. So for us, the software ecosystem is the, the interaction of a set of actors on top of a common technological platform. And this uh, interaction results in services and software that are created. And uh, if we uh, take it to the uh, open source software uh, landscape. So the software uh, solutions and services that are created are open. So it's just an adaptation of a uh, definition by Manikas and Hansen. Um, so we see the interest of studying this uh, because it's more and more present, as, as I said, and they are bigger and bigger, and we are really dependent on them. So our research question is how the relationship between 
a company and a community of volunteers can go from really positive, you know, many, maybe for many years, and at some point turn sour. You know, what can create that? Um, and, and to the point where the ecosystem as a whole can be threatened. So just on, not only one or two projects, but really the ecosystem as a whole. Um, with uh, Kevin Carrillo, which is at Toulouse Business School, uh, we have a paper who, uh, where we, s we, we suggest that we should see open source software communities as living organisms. I know that in, uh, we are uh, obviously uh, information system researchers. We know that now we know that in software engineering there are also researchers uh, taking this biological metaphor to think about uh, projects, communities, and ecosystems. Um, and um, in, uh, in information system as well as in um, software engineering, uh, they are encouraging, there is call for research to consider software ecosystem as a natural ecosystem and to uh, take theories from biology to try to understand uh, those uh, open source software ecosystems. So that's uh, our uh, conceptual basis, we started with that. And we found um, very interesting uh, categorization of interactions between organisms or species in a uh, natural ecosystem. Um, and what we want to see is how we go from mutualism, so a win-win situation for the community and the joining companies, uh, to um, one of the minus um, column or line where one of the party is losing something um, and we are uh, more interested into uh, when the community is losing something because we want to take the community point of view instead of the uh, company's uh, point of view. So um, we all know uh, the uh, prey, predator, exploitation, parasitism, sorry, but we also have the competition which can be uh, negative for both parties and also uh, the amansalis and um, uh, that's it, yeah. So we have, uh, we have also those relationships where neither are losing uh, or uh, both are winning or one of them is winning and the other is getting nothing at all. Uh, so, so we want to understand where, uh, how we go from there to, from green to, to red. Sure. Maybe a silly question, but for uh, non-native speakers in the audience, uh, what is commensalism and amensalism? So, uh, amensalism, um, the, the amensal is not losing anything, he's not winning anything, but he's taking something from the other party. So the other party is losing from the interaction. And uh, commensalism, the commensal is winning something from the, the, the host, but the host is not losing anything, so it's, uh, it's neutral. It's not winning, not losing. Is it similar like a symbiote and a parasite? Yeah. Like a symbiote and a parasite? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you say it? Oh, oh well, that, that's, the, that's their, that's their uh, model, and right? it's from biology. It's, <laughs> it's from biology, it's a lot of words, yeah. Well, I think it's so, different because the parasites are losing, there's a minus in the... Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it's from the point of view of the prey, and here from the predator point of view. Yeah. So, so it's a it's a framework, it's a model that we uh, keep in mind when uh, analyzing the data that we collected, actually. Because an information system, contrary to software engineering, we need to have theoretical bases, absolutely, and uh, or we develop theory. Either we use, we test, or we develop theory. So, um, it's a prelim preliminary uh, um, results, so if you have uh, ideas or suggestions, we are really open to it. So here we see the community as one organism, and the organization that is joining the community as another organism of a different type. Um, the methodology that we followed, actually we are more qualitative researchers, qualitative in the sense of meeting with people face-to-face, -face, asking them questions. 
So uh, we did interviews, actually Patrick did most of them. Uh, he went at the Open Source Summit Europe in 2017 in Prague uh, and at the Open Source Leadership Summit uh, this year in um, San Francisco where we recruited participants and uh, he did uh, in-depth interviews after the conference because people were there obviously to network and not to answer questions uh, from researchers. So uh, we did uh, in-depth interviews uh, from 45 minutes to 60 minutes with 16 participants so far. We have four more interviews coming. And the main question that uh, we ask is people to, to, to people to tell uh, the stories uh, that they know about uh, those types of relationships that went from positive to negative with time. Um, so it's really um, um, based on their experience, expertise, what they read, what they, uh, what they um, experience. We have the developer, maintainer, and also community manager, because for us it's really important to have the social side also, so we don't only want the technical people. Um, but we stopped there, we didn't go to the users um, because they're not really aware of what is coming, uh, 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 what is uh, occurring into the community and between uh, actors, so we decided not to include them. Um, and we uh, did the code, uh, well, transcribed all the interviews, we recorded it, transcribed it, and then we code this. Um, and we didn't uh, go to the enterator reliability yet. It's uh, still um, in progress. So um, Patrick did uh, use the analogy and metaphor approach to uh, try to, uh, to uh, identify the organisms, identify the uh, interactions, um, and how it went from good to bad. So the preliminary results, we found the first situation where uh, we go from mutualism, uh, it's always the first state, to amensalism. Um, the company is very involved in the development of the software for many months, many years, everything is going well. And at some point the company sees no more interest in continuing to contribute or even maintain if it's a community that they started themselves. So they stop contributing. So they leave the uh, community uh, with less resources, uh, the community of volunteers, they no longer receive that, those contributions from the company that were, uh, uh, the, the, the company was the, the, the <coughs> more productive contributor, let's say. So uh, it leaves them with uh, uh, a situation of weakness. We also have the uh, case where we go to the para paratism, parasitism, sorry, uh, relationship. So the company is involved uh, in developing code and everything, but at some point they decide to hire a volunteer, mm -hmm. another one, another one, another one, and then the company, all the all the, the the community is inside the company, and it creates a, so a sort of um, mm -hmm. how do we say? Uh, everyone is thinking the same way. Uh, there is no more innovation or new ideas coming from outside. So uh, at that point, the company exploit completely the community and uh, eventually it's completely extinct. Uh, it's, it becomes the company itself. And we also have competition, negative, negative. The company, uh, which is led by its economic needs, um, wants to take control of the project and bring the roadmap to a place where the community disagree and they at some point strongly disagree uh, it can create forks and then uh, the uh, volunteer community resist the influence of the company and both species end up competing for the resources because they if, if you have a fork then you have two competing uh, projects and they all try to get the resources from from the ecosystem. So that's the three cases that we found so far in the data, but maybe uh, we will uh, we will find more and maybe more uh, um, weight for some of the uh, interactions 
um, than the others. So the expected contribution, uh, of course, uh, we answer the calls from the recent calls from uh, in software engineering and information system researchers saying that we should use uh, uh, by, uh, theories from biology to think about the software ecosystems. Um, we uh, also um, brought up a framework from biology to identify the different types of uh, interactions between communities and uh, companies that are involved, and also a better understanding of how a very positive, many years long relationship can at some point uh, go bad. Um, so we hope that it will help uh, community managers and, and also um, companies <coughs> to see uh, how to collaborate, what not to do, what to do, and uh, in the idea that everyone will be uh, winning a win-win to keep the win-win situation action. So we want to thank obviously the participant in the study, also the Linux Foundation, uh, who helped us uh, to gain access to the participant and uh, the SQL project members also who uh, gave uh, feedback and ideas and also the funding, uh, the funding body uh, which is uh, Quebec based and uh, Belgium based. It was a special, uh, a new funding that, uh, that we got. We were, the, we were four projects uh, to get it. So uh, maybe uh, if you want to apply for next year or the other, it's, uh, we have uh, interesting multidisciplinary uh, collaborations. It was, uh, it was challenging at times because we realized that information system and software engineering are two, two domains with their own assumptions and their own ways of doing and uh, the, the, the best practices for publishing is not the same also, so it was really interesting to, to collaborate. So thank you. I think I did my